Alright guys, welcome to RC Mojo. This week we're at the London Model Engineering Expo. As usual, the Tamiya trucking crew were there with their layout, but we'll get to that later. Call it the payoff for sitting through all the other stuff. First off, we have some Lego. Quite a lot of Lego in the shape of a funfair. Very colourful, as you might expect. The thing a lot of people miss, though, is there's a fair degree of engineering here. Making things work smoothly with the bricks isn't as easy as it looks. Good stuff. The BMFA were there, staffed by the usual grey hairs. If you fly RC in the UK, it's not a bad idea to join up. I meant to buy a couple of the sticker sheets and forgot. I had them on my list and everything. Oh well. Some RC next. The indoor flying seems to be purely Horizon hobbies now. Not a bad thing as they do a lot of great indoor models. It's difficult to go wrong with a Spectrum radio and a UMX. These little AS3 extras are great. Like the Icarus Shock Flyer we all used to be playing with, uh, must be over 10 years ago now, the AS3 Extras are smaller than the old Shockies, and they run the AS3X Flight Stabilizer with a gain control so you can change the amount of stabilization to suit the flying. Lovely. There were of course some quads, like this one, and this one, but they're a bit boring. Being a model engineering expo, there's always a large amount of model trains. These aren't the usual HO00 electric toys, these are fully working miniature steam locos. You can see inside there's a set of controls and a pressure gauge. As far as I can tell, most of them are free flight. You set up the engine and regulator and let it run around the track until it runs out of puff. There was one guy though with a spectrum radio hooked up for control. Great stuff. More trains, this time the fairly rare Hornby Live Steam Locos. These guys have a boiler that runs from the 16 volt supply on the track, but they are indeed running on a proper little steam engine. I know it's not the usual thing we cover here, but you've got to admit, if you like small engineering in general, these little locos really are impressive. Ok, here we are at the Tamiya trucking layout, which is probably where I spent most of my time there, as usual. First up, this model which has a rather nicely done smoker, puffing instead of the usual stream. Always a difficult thing to get right. The driver carefully drove up onto the low loader, very carefully, raised the ramp, manoeuvred the rig and drove off. Nothing too amazing there, but I'm pretty sure he did it all on one transmitter. I think he did at least. I was staring at the camera screen most of the time, so he could have swapped radios when I wasn't looking. Following the low loader out was a tipper, full of dirt getting transferred across the layout. The usual game on the Tamiya trucking layouts involves a couple of diggers that load up the tippers to gradually move a large pile of earth between two places. I really could have stayed there watching a lot longer, but I think I wouldn't have been too popular if I pulled up a chair. Oh well, roll on the warmer weather and the outdoor shows. It's just a little bit chilly to stand in a field in the wind at the moment. Anyway, that will have to do for this week. Oh, uh, while I do the end bit, here's a blurry squirrel. Next week we'll have something new to play with, not bought at the show, but something that was available at a couple of the stands. I'll leave you to wonder about that. Right, thanks for watching, if you like the video, even with the trains, do please leave a like. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? It's free to do, you know? Bye guys!